Today, we're discussing the strength attribute in Seven Days to Die, Alpha 20. Now, we've got a lot of info to cover and no time to waste, so let's get to it. One of my absolute favorite things to do in Seven Days to Die is smashing the zombie jerks upside the head with my steel club. But in order to do this effectively, you need to invest in the strength attribute. So today we're going to take a closer look at strength and exactly what this attribute has to offer. So let's start off by taking a look at the attribute itself. Strength is the measure of your muscular might. Increasing strength raises the headshot bonus and dismemberment chance with shotguns, clubs, sledgehammers, and tools. The strength attribute has 10 levels and if you max this bad boy out, you will deal 300% headshot damage and have a 50% greater chance to dismember with shotguns, clubs, sledgehammers, and tools. As with all of the attributes in Seven Days to Die, there are also a list of perks that are governed by this attribute. By pumping points into the attribute itself, you open up some higher levels of these perks, which can make your character even better. Now, the strength attribute is broken up into three different sections. You have your combat perks, the general strength perks, and the construction perks. So now that we have a general overview of the attribute itself, let's dive into the perks. And we're gonna start with the combat perks. First up on the list is Boomstick. Specialize with shotguns and send your enemies to meet their maker. Do more damage, blow limbs off, shoot and reload faster. The Boomstick perk governs shotguns, such as the pipe shotgun, the double barrel shotgun, the pump shotgun, and the auto shotgun. There are five levels to the boomstick perk, and if you max this bad boy out, you will deal 50% more damage, have a 50% faster fire rate, a 30% faster reload speed, and your leg shots will cripple opponents. But let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, it's so much more fun just to shoot the zombie jerks in their stupid zombie faces. And if you do that with a shotgun after investing in boomstick, you will be popping heads left and right. Let's move on to our next combat perk, Pummel Pete. Specialize in knocking your foes senseless with clubs and bats. Now we are talking, ladies and gentlemen. As I said in the intro, I absolutely love smashing the zombie jerks upside the head with my steel club. And if that is what you're looking to do, Pummel Pete is the perk for you. This perk governs the wooden club, the baseball bat, and the Steel Club. There are five levels of Pummel Pete, and if you max this bad boy out, you will deal 50% more damage, attacks do 200% more damage to stunned enemies, and power attacks have a 100% knockdown chance. Plus, three successive hits in a short time causes the last blow to do double damage. If you're looking to smack around some zombies with your clubs, investing in Pummel Pete is a must. Seven Smash! And our last combat perk in the strength attribute is Skull Crusher. Specialize in destroying enemies and structures with sledgehammers. The Skull Crusher perk governs the sledgehammer weapons like the stone sledgehammer, the iron sledgehammer, and the steel sledgehammer. There are five levels in Skull Crusher, and if you max this bad boy out, you'll be dealing 50% more damage. Your power attacks have a 75% chance to knock down enemies, plus you also gain a 50% chance to knock down nearby enemies. While the sledgehammer weapons do have a slower attack speed, they really pack a punch. You'll be sending zombie jerks flying and knocking them on their butts left and and right. So grab your best sledgehammer weapon and start crushing skulls. Now it's time to take a look at the general strength perks. And we're starting off with arguably the best perk in Seven Days to Die. I'm talking about Sexual Tyrannosaurus. Specialize in unleashing a relentless assault of blows guaranteed to leave your prey slack-jawed at your unwielding stamina. This perk reduces the stamina usage for both melee weapons and tools. And it also 
also grants stamina with killing blows starting at rank 2. There are a total of 4 levels in Sexy Rex, and if you max this bad boy out, you'll get a 25% reduction in stamina cost with regular attacks, and a 50% reduction in stamina cost with power attacks. And one of the best parts of this perk, once you get it maxed out, killing blows will grant you 30 stamina. Sexual Tyrannosaurus is an absolute must-have perk for almost any build in the game. It is awesome. Let's move on to our next perk, the Heavy Armor perk. Specialize in shielding yourself with iron and steel, becoming an unstoppable behemoth on the battlefield. If you're going to get up close and personal with the zombies, you're going to need to be able to take a punch, which means slapping on some heavy armor, such as scrap armor, iron armor, and steel armor. Unfortunately, wearing heavy armor also slows you down and drains your stamina. That's where the heavy armor perk comes in. There are four levels of this perk, and if you max this bad boy out, you will reduce the movement penalty by 25%, as well as the stamina penalty by 25%. You will also increase the durability rating of heavy armor by 200%. Now, unfortunately, the heavy armor perk does not improve the protection level of your armor, but it does massively decrease Increase the penalties for wearing that armor and those penalties can be problematic so if you're looking to move a little bit better and use a little less stamina while wearing heavy armor you may want to think about investing in the heavy armor perk the next strength perk we need to take a look at is pack mule you're a pack mule and can carry more items in your inventory without suffering movement penalties encumbrance in seven days to die can be a serious problem it slows you down and makes you an easy target for the zombie jerks. Well, the pack mule perk is pretty straightforward and will help take care of that encumbrance problem. There are five levels to the pack mule perk. The first two will add three storage slots to your backpack and levels three, four, and five will add four slots to your backpack. By maxing out pack mule, you will completely unlock all of these slots in your backpack, meaning you will never have an encumbrance issue. You. And the last perk in the general strength perk section is Master Chef. Create more filling meals with advanced benefits and learn to cook faster. Seven Days to Die is a survival game, and one of the survival aspects is your hunger and thirst bars. Food and drink is a major issue in this game. You need to keep fed and you need to keep hydrated. Master Chef opens up more recipes that will help you deal with this issue. Even a single point can open up life-saving food and drink recipes. And investing in additional levels will open up even more and better recipes. There are a total of five levels in Master Chef, and once you max this bad boy out, you will open up almost all food and drink recipes. Plus, you'll be able to cook 50% faster. Master Chef allows you to eat and drink like a king in the zombie apocalypse. And and our last section of strength perks are the construction perks, Miner 69er and Motherload. Let's start off with Miner 69er. Maximize your mining efforts by increasing tool damage to bring down rocks and trees faster. The Miner 69er perk governs tools such as the Stone Axe, the Iron Fire Axe, the Steel Axe, the Iron Pickaxe, the Steel Pickaxe, the Chainsaw, and the Almighty Augur. There are five levels of the Miner 69er perk, and each level will increase the amount of damage that your tools will do. By maxing this bad boy out, your tools will do 50% more entity damage and a whopping 150% more block damage. This allows you to break down blocks much, much faster. The faster you break those blocks, the faster you harvest those oh-so-important resources. And then we have Motherload. Harvest more resources and bring home the Motherload. Each level of this perk will increase the amount of resources you harvest when breaking blocks. Miner 69er and Motherload go hand in hand. Miner 69er increases the block damage that your tools do, and Motherload increases the amount of resources that you harvest. This is a one-two punch for resource gathering in seven days to die. I think it is safe 
safe to say that the Strength attribute holds some of the best perks in 7 Days to Die Alpha 20. It is an excellent attribute for its offensive capabilities and resource gathering. So if you prefer the smash mouth in your face style of gameplay, the Strength attribute may just be for you. And if you'd like to take a look at some of my other 7 Days to Die Alpha 20 videos, I've created a very special playlist that you can access by clicking the box in the top right corner of the screen. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll catch you in the next one. Savin Smash!